Have you ever wondered what your website looks like on a smartphone, on an iPad, and then ultimately on a desktop? Today we're going to talk about how to make sure your website looks spectacular no matter how they pull it up. If you've designed a new website or you have a site that's maybe say over three or four years old, one of the things you really need to check out is if your website is mobily responsive. So I pull it up on a smartphone and I can see it this big. I pull it up on an iPad, I see it this big. And then I pull it up on a desktop and I see it this big. Now the problem is that Google has over 40% of its traffic is coming from mobile devices, from iPads, from smartphones, and from desktops. So what we have to remember is that if our website is pulling slow, does not look good on a mobile device, then Google is definitely not going to rank you like it would if you were mobily responsive. So the first thing we're going to take a look at is how do I test my site for responsiveness? Google has a wonderful tool called the Google Mobile Test. You'll see right here on my screen, you just type in Google Mobile Test, and you're going to put your, your website address goes right there. So I'm going to put findability.com, and then it's going to run the test. I like always using Google products because it comes straight from the horse's mouth. It's not someone else's interpretation of what mobile friendly is. It's their interpretation, which is really, in my world, the only thing that counts. And then you get a score like this. See, my page is mobile friendly. Now, there is always ways of um, making it look a little bit better in mobile. So the first thing is pull it up on a smartphone and see how it looks to you. Does everything beautifully collapse? Does it become a smaller version of itself? Or does it? do you get the little... The little hamburger, it's called a hamburger in the top corner and it's got like three pages on it. That means it's taken your primary navigation and popped it over to a shortened navigation, which is really nice. And then if you scroll down on the Google mobile test, it'll give you all kinds of things that you can change to make it more moldy responsive. Okay, now we're going to bump over to my website here. When you're looking at the website, you have to be mindful of everyone has a different monitor size, they have a different phone, they have different iPad sizes. People pull up things in all different kinds of environments. So we want to make sure that our website looks great in all of them. Now take a look at my site here. We've got a, your traditional website, we've got the phone number on the far right, social icons, logo on the far left, and we're going to scroll down. So I have the big sweeping graphics on the front. I've got three images here. I've got my run your findability score as well as this map. And the map has been a game changer for me because this map shows people exactly the path they have to take. Whether they work with me or they work with someone else, this is their ideal path. Now check this out. When I make it small, like it's on a smartphone, <clears throat> this is what it does. So I put my end of my cursor right here right on the edge of the browser, and you're going to pull it over. Pull it, pull it, pull it. So we're going to pull it, pull it. And now you'll see here that the website has beautifully collapsed on top of itself. You see that? I've got my hamburger right here. That's where the navigation now lives. Then as you go up, go, scroll down, you'll see those are the three boxes that were on the front of the home page. There's my content. There's my grader score, and look at, my, look at what my map did. It just turned into a long progressive map as opposed to the wide one you saw earlier. Keep going. There's my personality indicators, meet Tamara, meet Nora, and meet Deborah. So I've taken those opportunities to feature three of my clients. Um, they came, we all came into a WeWork, and I got a film crew and a photographer. We did it all on the same day. It was amazing. So if you think about how can I effectively build or craft a new website that's going to be mobily responsive, a couple things you have to think of. The first one is if you have those sliders, those sliders on the front are going to slow the website down. There's just nothing, there's no two ways around it. So you need to make sure that your web designer understands how to make that image compressed. So it has lots of gorgeous look and feel, but it's also at the same turn compressed, so it's not going to take forever to pull up on a smartphone. The other consideration is when you're thinking about creating images for a site, the images must be small or they'll pull super slow. So when you pull your website up on a smartphone or maybe ask some of your colleagues or employees to pull it up, see what they see. Now one thing that's important also is that it's a lot of back and forth when it comes to designing a responsive website. You'll see here on my homepage 
that there's an underline right underneath the phone number. The underline indicates that on a mobile device, you can click on that from the mobile device and it will actually call that number. There are certain things you must do in order for those elements to work on a smartphone. So as we come down here, you'll see this is the, this is the navigation that collapses into the nice little hamburger or the three slices at the top. These, all three of these, stack nicely on top of themselves. Now, these are the tricky part. These images need to be highly compressed. Now, when I say compressed, I don't mean that they don't look good or that they're pixelated, but they have to be, it has to be fast because, you know, think about how fast we're pulling stuff from our phone all the time. And you know even when you have to wait for something to slowly paint on the picture, you're like, I'm out of here. So it's incredibly important not just get, to get so so involved in the look and feel that you forget about how that user engagement is coming together. So make sure you put it through a Google mobile responsive test, the Google mobile test, and make sure that when you're creating images, you can actually have images that are gonna pull quickly. So I get it, we're not all graphic artists, we don't all know Photoshop, but there are some fantastic tools that we can use that are gonna make us look like graphic design rock stars. One of them is called Canva, C-A-N-V-A dot com. It's one of my favorites. I love being in this tool. Like I will literally watch reality television shows and create images in Canva. And that's showing my nerd, I think. <laughs> but I just love it because I have a graphic arts background. So I love anything that has to do with creation. Now, when you're thinking about a mobile responsive website, now you have to be thinking about my blogs have to look great in a mobile device, my content has to look great. How do I make sure that that is created? I'm creating those so that they are gonna pull fast but still look great. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna, this is canva.com. You come to this Instagram post, you can pick any image that you want. The nice thing about Canva is that it gives you all the presets for all the different social sites. So you don't have to like look it up every time you go. All right, so let's just say this is my image. And I'm gonna change this to get found. <laughs> get found organic. There we go, lemon squeezy. All right, so that's now my image. The nice thing what you can do is when you finish creating your images, you can go in here and you can pick however you want it to download. You guys see all these? So you can, you can have so many different um, ways in which to repurpose these images. Now, when you go to download it, do you see how it says compress file right there? So when you go to download the PNG file, you wanna make sure that you check the compress file and then download. Now you know that you created an image that looks great. Also, it's going to be perfect on any page of your website, on your blog, on your social. It's not gonna take forever to pull. So super important. When you're thinking about mobily responsive, you must think about the world's smallest monitor, my website has to look good. The world's medium monitor have to look good and the world's largest, it has to look good. But remember that to check your Google Analytics, Google Analytics is gonna tell you what devices your traffic is coming from. Take a careful look, it's called traffic sources. You'll see it right inside your analytics report. But keep an eye on that. If you're seeing more and more traffic coming to your website from mobile devices, and you haven't updated your website in say three to five years, there's a good chance that you're not ranking because of the fact that it's not mobily friendly. So get friendly, work with a web developer, add some of these friendly tools so that your website pulls up fast. And even when I'm on the go, I see the very best representation of your brand. I'm guessing you have a little bit of a list to go back to your webmaster. Make sure your website is mobily responsive, run it through the Google mobile test, if you have any questions or comments, please post below and make sure to subscribe to my channel and I'll keep giving you fantastic information about how to become the most findable business online.